Welcome to Copycat Friday, a series where we recreate some cool effects from movies, games or basically anything. Minecraft. That movie is all over the place right now. By the way, let me know if you played Minecraft. I sure did, I even made videos about it more than 10 years ago. Today we're going to steal the color grade of the new Minecraft movie and apply it to my video right here. <laughs> Without further ado, let's open up Premiere. So here I have two clips. One is a screenshot and the other one is my video. We're gonna steal the color grade from the Minecraft screenshot and paste it on my clip. The first thing you wanna do is go to the window menu on top and open up Lumetri Color and the Lumetri Scopes. In the Scopes panel, right click and make sure the waveform is enabled and that you set it to Luma. This is super simple. You'll understand this in a minute. First, select your clip in the timeline and if needed, apply your Rec. 709 LUT. That of course only counts if you shot your video in lock, by the way. If your video doesn't look grayed out like mine does, you don't have to worry. Now in the program monitor, enable the comparison view. That way you can see your video on the right and you can choose a reference clip with a slider on the left. Head over to Lumetri Color and before we do anything, I want to show you the apply match feature. Spoiler alert, it sucks. The idea behind this is that Premiere can match the colors from the left video and apply it on your clip. As you can see, useless. So before we'll match the colors, we're gonna match the light in our video in the basic controls. That's why we opened up the Luma waveforms. As you can see, if we adjust the exposure, for example, only the right side of the Luma scope will change. That's because the left side is actually the Minecraft screenshot. So what we're gonna do is match the Luma of our video with the Minecraft video. You're gonna do that by adjusting the light settings, of course. The top of the scope are the absolute whites and the bottom are the absolute blacks. So try to match the waveform of your video with the Minecraft one. Of course, don't just replicate the left waveform. That will completely clip your video. It's very logical that yours has less whites than the Minecraft version because we have a much smaller sky. Minecraft has more whites because it has a bigger sky. So don't just look at the curves, also look at the program monitor. Once you're done, it's time to match the colors. Actually, no. First I want to show you something else. So I found this tool online called Color.io. I'll leave a link below, you can use the free version. So this is basically a tool you can use to generate beautiful cinematic LUTs. You can then import these LUTs in Premiere or other software and apply them to your clips. Let me show you how it works. You basically grab a screenshot of your video by pressing Windows button, Shift and S. Then grab a screenshot and go to Color I.O. Then just press Ctrl plus V to paste it and click on Paste File. Next, go to the Color Match tab. And here, you can choose one of the presets or you can upload your own screenshot again. And here, you of course upload a screenshot of the Minecraft movie. Then select it and wait for the results. And there you go, that actually looks really good. Take that Lumetri color. You can then simply export your result as a LUT and apply it in Premiere. In the Creative tab, simply click Browse and then find a LUT you just downloaded. Boom, apply it to your video. Now of course you can do so much more with Color I.O. Wait, I'm excited to show you this. Here's a cool picture of me and I want to create a Joker color grade on this one. And of course you can find it right here. Apply it and Damn, look at the background for example. It's perfectly matched with the Joker's background. Same thing for the lining on my face. By the way, if you adjust the color or tone slider, Color I.O. will recalculate the image, so it's not like an opacity slider or something. Look at how well it blends in with your video. Adobe can learn so much from this. Besides these color match templates, you can also download free presets. There are a bunch of them. Take a look for yourself. So these are easy to apply and they're actually simply adjusting these properties, so that means you can still go in and tweak them. I tried the asteroid preset on my Minecraft clip and that really looks like Asteroid City. Look at how well the balance for example responds to your image. The exposure curve can definitely do wonders. And that is a beautiful contrast curve compared that to Lumetri Color. I think I'm bashing Adobe too much. But it's the truth. All these curves are super responsive and really helps you to transform your footage. The last four effects are so awesome they aren't included in LUT exports but you can still apply them to your footage in here. Halation for example this can perfectly simulate the orange glow around highlights, a diffusion control which is absolutely beautiful and a texture effect that can generate film grain. This is a tool I truly recommend using alongside Premiere. And if Adobe is watching, please learn from this. Oh, and you can also create a grid view so you can easily match multiple frames of your project. Extremely useful. Thank you Color.io so much for supporting this video. You guys can get 25% off by using the code Premiere Basics and by clicking the link down below. But at least try out the free version, 
you will love it. All right, now let's continue doing it the hard way. So we just matched the light of the video, but now it's time to match the colors. To do that, we're going to the curves tab. Scroll down until you see the hue saturation curves. What I like to do first is match the most prominent color, which for us is green. Let me change to the split screen view real quick. So head over to the hue versus hue curve. With this one, we can select a color and completely change that color. So to do that, click the color picker and go to the program monitor. Then in here, click the green in your video. Now if you look at the curve, you'll see three dots. The outer dots are the selection and we're gonna use the middle dot to change the color. Simply drag it up or down and you'll see the color changing. We want to push a little more orange into our grass, so we'll have to drag it up. Of course, you can always adjust that selection to make sure that all the grass will change. And now your grass is perfectly matched. Now I do think that the grass needs to be a little darker and to do that, you can scroll down to the hue versus luma curve. You can use the color picker again or just create your own green selection. Then pull it down to bring down the luma in your selection and that looks a lot better. Now my t-shirt doesn't really look the same as Steve's t-shirt, so we're gonna fix that next. Go to the hue versus saturation curve. In here we can again select the color we want, which in our case is the blue t-shirt. And now we're gonna increase the saturation to make it match Steve's shirt. You can do the same thing for the skin tones by the way, they don't have much saturation, so let's increase that as well. Speaking of skin tones, head over to the HSL tab in the Lumetri color. And in here, I'll show you a second way to make skin tones pop. So first, grab the color picker again and click your skin tones to select them. Then adjust the HSL sliders until you only have your skin tones selected. This can take a while. If needed, you can increase the blur slider to smoothen out the selection. Next, increase the saturation and perhaps add a little temperature to make your skin look better. That already looks super. Now, you're probably wondering how to make the blue sky just like in Minecraft. Well, you can do some compositing if you like, but I have a better idea. In Photoshop, drag a screenshot of your video and simply make a selection around the sky. Then type in blue sky. Click on generate and let Photoshop do its thing. That looks really cool. I also added in a Minecraft 3 because why not? Once you found a sky you like, hide the original screenshot and export your image as a PNG. Back in Premiere, simply drag your picture on top of your video. Then make sure it's selected and head over to the effect controls. In Capacity, click the pen tool to create a mask. Then in the program monitor, draw a mask around the sky. Next, increase the feather and perhaps play around with the mask expansion. Now you have a beautiful blue sky. I also dragged my Minecraft tree on top of my video and that finishes it off. Now you have a beautiful Minecraft color grade. Next, we're gonna recreate the brand new GTA 6 title animation on my left, right here. So click here to continue the lesson. Thank you guys so much for watching.